afternoon people how are we doing welcome to Adams Eats what have we got for you today right bit of a different video today uh, reason being is my kitchen was flooded the other day uh, long story short the one of the flats above me got a massive sewage problem so I had lovely poo water coming into my kitchen uh, flooding my floor getting all on my worktops in the cupboards absolute nightmare Half done, pretty much done all of it, disinfected everywhere, cleaned up some of the, most of the mess. But I thought today, I'd, rather than just go in there and fight against it, I thought I'd do something completely different today. Um, so what we're going to do? Right, well, Leicester. You, some of you might live there, might know that I live there. And one of the great things about this city is the diversity of different food. There's so much stuff around in this city, different cultures. We've got Asian shops, got Polish shops, Turkish shops. Yeah, oh, there's so much stuff you can get. Um, so I thought today um, I'd nip into the local Eastern European supermarket and just buy up some of the stuff that uh, took my fancy or not my fancy, as some of it may seem. Um, so I'm going to try some of this stuff on camera in front of you today. Um, I think these actually, I think I've had these before. I think they're like just like Nutella filled croissants, but we'll try them anyway. Um, so what have I got? Well, I've got some sausage things. Silesian sausage, kielbasa. Oh, kielbasa. I've had kielbasa before actually. They should be quite nice. Uh, I've got some juice, pork based paste. Bean goulash in pork, with, with pork, should I say. And I don't know what this is. This looks like butter with bits in. Oh, some sort of ham butter. Some sweets. And these look quite good actually. Fresh and fruity. Bit like me. Hey, wee! So I'm just going to try some of this stuff and see what it's like. Move this out of the way. It's got some room. Dr. Wit. I think we'll go for that. Dr. Wit premium juice. Don't know what flavour it is. I think it's, oh, I see. I think it's probably carrot and orange, actually, because it's got a picture of carrot and oranges on it. So, mag, magnes plus vitamina B6. Vitamina B6. Well, that's obviously vitamin B6. So, that's like it's some sort of fortified juice. Um, no idea what else is in it because it's all in Polish. So, let's see what this stuff's like. Look at this rim on that christ like you couldn't just uh, oh what okay smells a bit like just plain orange juice well actually there's a bit of carrot in there as well so let's give it a go chin chin that's actually really good it's more orangey than carroty um but yeah quite sweet uh actually yeah really like that what next i'm gonna go for this What's this? Uh, pick that up because it just, I say, it looked like some sort of butter, but with some sort of stuff in it. It's got a picture of ham on it. So I'm guessing it's got ham in it. It's called Hotchland to Jest Pisney. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's kind of got this sort of foil wrapped packaging. So I'm gonna cut some of this open, see what this is like. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah. It's ham flavoured dairyly, I think. Actually, that is really good. Kids would love this. It's basically, it is dairyly with bits of smoked ham in it. It's really quite nice. A bit more of that Dr. Whit. All been good so far. Let's try some of this chocolate. Chocolate's called Hibby. It's got kind of like a Okay, it's a it's a hippo dressed as Santa. Hmm, don't know if you can. Well, I'll show you this. I'm stuck. Uh, hippo dressed as Santa, and it's got on the back like a kind of tartan pattern. So I don't know what's going on here. I'm sure. Right, hippie chocolate. Let's have a look. It's very light. Yeah, not much to it. It was only like 40p though, so you can't really complain. Well, okay, actually it smells suspiciously like Aero. 
Hmm. It's a bit like that cheap chocolate. You know, you get on kind of Christmas decorations. You've got to come down Christmas morning. You think, oh, I'll have a chocolate off the tree. And you take one bite and go, ah, forget it. Forget it. Some more Dr. Wit, though. You are spoiling us, Dr. Wit. I'm going to try some of these sausages, actually, because I have a feeling these are going to be really good. Garlic, preservatives, sodium nitrate. Mmm, sodium nitrate. May contain cereals, gluten, celery, mustard, soya, milk, lactose, blah, 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 blah. No one cares. Let's see what they like. Wow. All right. Well, it seems quite fatty in the middle, which isn't always necessarily a bad thing. Really nice. Quite salty, quite garlicky. It tastes a little bit like, you know those kind of Matteson sausages, ones that you get in kind of a packet and it's sort of a loop. Kind of like an upmarket version of that. But yeah, quite nice. I'm just kind of a bit worried about the nuggets inside, like, but not in a really terrible way. Just so I, was, I, I think I'd be a air on the side of caution when eating it in case I shatter my teeth on a bit of cartilage. I could pour myself some more, Dr. Witt. I'm avoiding some of these next things because I'm just not sure. I've got two tins here, both of which I'm worried about. And I know I should just get into it and just open it and eat it, but I'm just, I'm just not sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll do one in a second. Let's try these fruity, fresh and fruity, made by a company called Wowell. Fresh and fruity, Nadzininium. Uh, I don't know if you can see, they've got kind of fruit pictures on the front, like sort of solid sweets with some sort of gooey jelly filling, I think. Okay, so they're individually wrapped. Okay, they're quite big, actually. I thought they'd be a lot smaller than that. They're like those jelly sweets that your nan used to get for Christmas. You know, because she couldn't, chew, you can't chew like solid stuff, so she'd have to get these squidgy jelly sweets. They're exactly like that. Can't really feel any kind of filling in the middle. It just seems like solid jelly to me, but quite pleasant. I think that was orange. I think the fruit is a little bit unidentifiable in those. Um, but yeah, they're okay. Fresh and fruity, that is what they are. Right, another sip of Dr. Whit. Oh, Jesus, okay. A bit sort of put off by the fact that the tin is really, really dusty and there's a massive dent in the side of it. Now, I don't know if you can see on it, it's got like pictures of pork and, and, and like kind of garlic on the side, and sort of herbs on some sort of chopping board. So, goodness knows what this is. It probably pork. Debreneski Nares e Ua Sesti. Excellent. Oh, Jesus! What is that? Yeah, you're gonna have to have a look at this, folks. This is just bizarre. This is something that you'd find in a crypt. Not looking forward to that one at all. Oh, God. I don't even like luncheon meat or spam or anything like that, so God knows what this is gonna be like. Yeah, just take a big lump, Adam, why not? Down the hatch. Uh, uh, it tastes like how cat food smells, if that makes any kind of sense. Yeah, well that's really unpleasant. Yeah, nah, nah, don't want it, don't want any more. Right, that's enough of that. Uh, what next? Well, these are familiar. I've, I'm sure I've had these before. They're called Seven Days Max. I think they're just like a croissant with Nutella stuff inside. I think I had these when we went to, on holiday to Mablethorpe, actually. I'm sure I took these along, but in a bigger bag, and I, I think they were miniature ones. So, yeah, that's what they look like. Seven Days Max. So let's open it up. Oh it's, oh, it's one big giant one. Okay. It looks like a 
pastry woodlouse. Does it taste like woodlouse? Who knows? Never eaten woodlouse. Squiddy chocolate inside. It's basically like a croissant with hazelnutty kind of spread inside. Really nice though. I don't really like sweet stuff actually. Um, but ever since I met my other half, I don't know, it's kind of got a bit more of a sweet tooth. So I do like an occasional bit of sugar. Um, so yeah, that's those. What next? I'm purposely leaving, leaving this till last because I just, I'm not looking forward to this at all. All right, so what are these little beauties then? Um, they look like they're called Mlechny Caramel Cake. Caramel Cake, I don't know, it's caramel, something like that. Sugar, glucose syrup, full fat cream milk powder, hydrogenated vegetable fat, salt, aromatizers, ethyl vanillin, vanillin, milk powder. Okay, doesn't say anything about chocolate, so don't know what these are, let's open them up. Yeah, very sort of toffee sort of smell. You can see that. Focus. 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 Focus on the toffee. See it? I give up. <laughs> it's like it's so small it won't focus on it. Um, but that's what it is. It's just like a caramelly toffee thing. Best described, I suppose, is a Werther's Original, but less buttery. You know Werther's Original, it's got that kind of nice mellow rounded buttery flavour. They're kind of a little bit like that but without that buttery sort of flavour. But they're really nice actually. Yeah I, I could I could eat a few of those. Uh, so that's those. Right. Okay well I, I'm gonna have it because it's the whole point of this video isn't it? Uh, what is it? it? Says on the tin bean goulash with pork. Homemade flavours. It says on the tin, homemade flavours. So, yeah, kind of, I, I put, you've got to really heat this up, I presume, but I'm just going to have it straight out of the tin. So I don't think heating it's going to make that much of a difference to the flavour, is it? Ingredients, drinking water. Okay. Pickled pork, 21%. Pork, 70%. Drinking water, more of that drinking water. Culinary salt. Yeah, none of that industrial salt. Yeah, we just use culinary salt. Yeah, you wince. Stabilizers, triphosphates, E407A. Is there a chemist that can tell me what E407A is, what it does? Um, it's probably not good for you. Diphosphates, gelling material. Potassium chloride, dry beans, 9%. Wheat flour, quick frozen vegetable mix. Okay. Quick, in brackets, in various rates, carrot, parsley, celery, close bracket, sunflower oil, spices, food seasoning, well isn't that the spices, um, flavour enhancer, sodium glutamate, E631, E627, more culinary salt, smoke, smoke aroma, this product was made in a plant used soya as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's sort of best before dates, nutritional information and all that guff. So, yeah. Stop stalling, Adam. Open it and try it. You know you want to. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is... <laughs> Looks like the leftovers from Frustrating a bet, something it's disgusting. No, no. Look, I've got to bring this round. Look at that. Doesn't that look tasty? Oh, yeah, I'm going to eat this. I bloody well enjoy it too. I won't. I won't. I'll get a bit of that nice liquid in there as well. Why not? Smells quite tomatoey, actually. The smell isn't that bad. 
Once it's out of the tin and it's aired a bit. Okay, it's going. That is truly awful. Ah. Look, it's ta it looks nothing like what is on the tin at all. Maybe it is better heated up, I don't know, but I'm not even going to attempt that. It's like cold vegetable soup mixed with inferior pork products and then I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Actually, I would wish it on my worst enemy actually because it's horrible. Do people, if you're Eastern European, I'd love to know if you eat this, if you've ever tried this, do you eat it regularly? I can't imagine you would. This is kind of one of those things I think you'd eat out of desperation. You'd, you'd buy it as an emergency item, stick it in the cupboard and then, I don't know, day before payday, like, you got nothing, oh, I better have that because I've got nothing else. I can't imagine you'd eat this on a regular basis. I'm not even going to have another fork full of that, as I will be sick, and no one wants to see that on camera at all. Oh, so some more Dr. Wit. Well, that's it for today, guys. Um, hope you like the video. Um, some of that stuff was really nice. Some of it was pretty disgusting, actually, especially that goulash, that is foul. And any Eastern Europeans out there, if you leave a comment below, I'd like to know kind of what you think of some of this selection, what I've got. Because I literally, I just went in the shop and I just picked a load of random stuff. Um, things that looked strange, looked odd, looked nice. Uh, tried to get a bit of a mixture, really. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe and I shall see you next time. Thanks guys and bye for now.